Welcome back to Dissecting History. Last time we broke down the reforms in the Catholic Church during the Reformation period. Today we're going to rebuild them. Just kidding. We're going to cover the failures and successes, mostly failures, of the absolute rulers in the age of absolutism. Doesn't that sound like fun? Anyway, hopefully I'm not going to get hit in the head seven million times. How you miss me? Okay, good. Oh, come on, do you really have to do that? So anyway, we will first start with France, where absolute power through divine right flourished. The first important ruler was King Louis XIII, who we couldn't reach. He had help from Cardinal Richelieu, who we also couldn't reach during his younger reign. Since Louis XIII didn't rule for long, I wonder why, Cardinal Richelieu had most of the power during his reign. Cardinal Richelieu attempted to weaken the power of the nobles, so he started the Entendant system. To start our episode today, where I'm going to quote Monty Python, and now for something completely different. We have Cardinal Marzarin, who helped Louis XIV, who, if you can add, followed after Louis XIII. I swear, France must have the least creative amount of king, of names of kings ever. But is king to you, peasant? Yeah, sure, whatever. Do not mock his majesty. He has been sent to us by God himself. Okay, stop yelling. I'm only five inches away. Now, let's get this interview over with. I will not speak with a lowly peasant like yourself. Okay, fine. Hey, where's my partner in crime for this? Oh, we replaced Cletus. Oh, thank God. Who am I working with now? Okay, who the is that? Meow. You replaced Cletus with a... Wait a minute. Did that thing just meow? Ribbit. Ah, a pleasure to make an acquaintance of a member of the upper class. <laughs> oh yes, I followed most of the ideas that Cardinal Richelieu had uh, brought up du during his rule over France. <laughs> of course, Cardinal Richelieu had created it to weaken the power of the nobles and strengthen our great king's power. I had to continue it in order to make King Louis XIV as strong as possible. Hey! Naturally, we both wanted to centralize France. We also had a campaign against all the Huguenots. God, I can't believe we're having a pig interview. This pig, as you call him, has much more class than you. He even meets my high standard. What? Unlike you, he speaks with elegance. <laughs> yeah, the elegance of a farmhouse. You insolent little... Yeah, 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 shut up. Anyway... Uh, we, uh, we now have King Louis the Fourteenth coming for his interview. Bow to his majesty, you roy- Bow to his majesty, you peasant! Oh, shut up, you. Listen, pig, escort this guy out of here. This is worse than that whole, uh, uh, heretic nonsense we had in the last one. Hey, meow. Oi, oi, oi. I don't get paid enough for this. Welcome, King Louis the Fourteenth. Oh, hey, can I, I call you Lou? No, oh, I am the state. Okay. Oh, I am the sign king. Right. Uh, yeah. So, 
I've been told that you are a very powerful ruler. Yes. I had the strongest army in Europe since the Thirty Years' War. What the hell happened to your voice? <laughs> Don't laugh. All right, what about your internal power? I had the Palace of Versailles built for me and the nobles. I used it to spy on the nobles and to learn of, of any conspiracies against me. Also, people had known me as the Sun King, Louis the Great, and God's representative on God's representative, huh? <laughs> God's representative, huh? Guess you were a popular ruler. Yeah. I had also tried to create religious unity I'm gonna go to sleep by now. revoking the Edict of Nantes in 1685. I had a famous saying being the belief in one king, one law, and one faith. <laughs> I never hunted non-Christians as long as they didn't worship in public. a pig? Yes, it was a pig. I have no idea what he asked. Maybe you should just, uh, I don't know, read the script or something. The subtitles just told me, you idiot. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, carry on. I had many wars throughout my reign. I was aiming to make a giant supreme nation of Europe. I fought for 33 of my 54 years that I rule. Why the heck do I know that? <laughs> my army was large and disciplined. My first major war was the War of Devolution. Who'd you fight in that? The X-Men? Who are the X-Men? I don't know. <laughs> okay, fine then. The war was against the Spanish Netherlands. My army was... And why did you fight this war? My wife, Maria Theresa, well, was supposed to be paid by her father, who was King Philip the Fourth of Spain. But he died. And when he died... I had no choice but to take the pay by force. I decided to take control of the Spanish Netherlands. Well, what happened during the war? During the war, the Triple Alliance formed by combining the forces of England, Holland, and Sweden. Sweden? Sweden! 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 Hey! Mario World! The Alliance fought against me in that war. The war ended with the Peace of Ax la Champagne. Which allowed me to keep Flanders. What was that about champagne? Sound flair. I was not going to stand for this. I wanted more land. I want to be viewed as a great conqueror and to be placed in future history textbooks. Uh, you mean like this? Uh, like this one? Ooh, a textbook. Oh, I love reading textbooks. Thanks for taking that off my hands. Oh, oh my god. Ooh, that's oh heavy. God. Oh my god. They've got 16 pages of me in this book. Oh my god, I'm amazing! Yeah, really amazing. And really crazy, too. <laughs> you know, maybe that guy is right. I don't have any elegance at all. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I see something in here about uh, Dutch War. Well, isn't that convenient? Hey, can you explain that? Well, after the Peace of aix la champagne I decided to expand my army. I had made an alliance with England, breaking up the Triple Alliance in the process. The war started with an attack from England on the Netherlands. I knew the Netherlands were going to be an obstacle in my goal of conquering Europe. Although I was much stronger than the Dutch, I had conquered a very little amount of land. Are you sleeping? Wake up! 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 I wasn't sleeping. Please, just five more minutes. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! All right, fine. Um, is there a reason why you couldn't conquer any land? First, I required high taxes to keep my strong army up. France also experienced bad weather throughout my reign. This all led to a massive famine in France, which made supporting my army very hard. Oh, I see. The war ended with the Peace of Nihemendi, where France received the Franche Comte, which I really wanted to have, so I was really happy after that. Doesn't sound like much, though. 
guess you weren't good at getting land, even with treaties. Well, most of Europe was against me. Also, my army started weakening in the 1680s. My final major war was the War of Spanish Succession. And you do not have an arm attached to you this time. You're right, I don't! How would you know that, though? You weren't in the last one. Yes, I was. Not as King Louis XIV. Who cares? I'm not paid enough to be here. To well, anyway, let me guess. You became the ruler of Spain because of that war. Nope, not at all. You were completely off. When the Spanish King Carlos II right. died, he left the entire country to my grandson. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Unfortunately for my me and my grandson, the rest of Europe was afraid of the French and Spain alliance being controlled by me, myself, and I. So the Grand Alliance Your three formed. three favorite people, I suppose. Oh, to fight France. The Grand Alliance encompassed England, Holland, Austria, and Russia. Hey, did you say Austria? No, did, did you say Austria? I did. Why? Hey, our next interview is with Joseph II of Austria. Mr. Skeleton X says hello from Joseph II. You! Mr. Skeleton X requests that his interview be without Louis XIV. He probably agrees. I remember those battles like it was yesterday. Yes, all of that bloodshed was worthless. A shed of blood? Where? Ah, uh, die. There's a shed of blood. To. Stop it. Act like an adult here. I'm not well, an adult. I'm if Mr. You didn't all, if you didn't all try to stop me, there would be less killing if I would rule everyone. <laughs> Mr. Skeleton Egg was trying to preserve the balance of power in Europe and then eat it. He must really suck to talk like this. I mean, look at you. You're just <laughs> shaking your head back and forth. <laughs> uh, <laughs> More like trying to slaughter friends. Isn't that the same thing? Oh, oh, really? If I recall, you had the cannon. Well, you had a stronger uh, army. My army was being slaughtered. We would be weak from famine and from war. 